Sorry. That's tip. <laughs> 74-year-old retired Captain Andrew Tindikawa, now a resident of Chengera Hayes from Ruchiga County in Kabale District. <laughs> Tindikawa says he joined the King's African Rifles Army in 1959, which was under the colonial rule. The army officers came to, to lecture to us, and they became very interested. He now moves on crutches due to illness. Recounting his time in the King's African Rifles Army, Tindikawa recalls the racial bago try. Because I sat with him, I was only black, and these he were calling me manke, manke, manke. But I, I did well past. During his six months training stint in Nairobi, Tindikawa emerged one of the best soldiers. <laughs> but before the British could send him to the Allied Sandhurst Military Academy, the Renzuru crisis began. They wanted the team to go and find out whether or not these people will have an army. Eventually they sent me to with Captain Keith to go and hunt down the camps of these people where we surprised the Muchirani. Found him in the camp. We're not supposed to shoot, we're only supposed to destroy the camp. On March 13, 1962, Isaiah Mukirane, Peter Muparia, and Jeremiah Kawamara lit the fuse of resentment when they walked out of Rukurato, Toro Kingdom's parliament. The people who were oppressing them were not the colonial masters, but the Toro Kingdom. The Bamba and the Toro had to sit alone. They couldn't sit with the other ones. Looked at the Bakonjo as inferior, an inferior race and the Bamba. Either Mshirini Mkad Mupadi Yakawadia, Kawamara, had no aim of starting the kingdom. They submitted their grievance to Omukama Kamura Sirukidi, which were rejected. But he wrote me a note as a commander of the rural forces. These leaders were then arrested and charged with crime under customary law for insulting the Omukama. I knew it Mutoro would not sit with them at the table at school, in the dining room, or in class. And uh, the Wakonjo became ag agitated. They were released on bail on July 19, 1962. The following month, the Wakonjo and the Bamba retreated to the mountain with bows, arrows, sticks and stones. The aim was not to form a kingdom. The aim was to get independence from Mutoro kingdom. But they had joined together. Now, if we create a kingdom on the western, on the Bakonjo side, they will also demand. After months of the recent attacks, President Museveni Square laid blame on the intelligence agencies for not detecting the outbreak of violence. You see, the Bakonjo are very secretive in matters of security. To get information from them is very, very difficult. I used to get it because I was friendly, I used to walk in them. Tindikawa says the creation of multi priest of chiefdoms, which never existed, provided fuel, which would continue to burn the volatile Renzoli. I've always wondered why actually even the son of Mushirani was crowned. They, were, they had a political union on Mopadia, Kawamara, Mushirani. They should have gone to the genesis of this struggle. Now, if it is the Bakonja against other tribes, why is it that it hadn't started before? I think a mistake is already done by creating fiefdoms. Within that tribal area, so there may be political rivalries, and they will continue. What about the relatives of Mupadia? Because of his good work in fighting the Renzuru movement without shooting and killing anyone, Tindikawa was recognized by the Queen and his name went into the annals of history recorded in the London Gazette. In actual fact, when it was announced that the Queen has honored me for the work I did there, I was coming out from the top of the mountain, passing through Bugoye, when somebody stopped me and said, you have been on the BBC. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.